thing. But all right, let's just switch over back to Kitty. There we are. All right, let's actually get started now, shall we? Maybe, perhaps? Oh, I finally got to play a tiny bit of Pokemon. And I do mean a tiny bit. <laughs> I mentioned it on Discord for anyone that's part of the Discord group. Um, but I did get to play a tiny bit more. I made it clear up to the first Pokemon Center. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I, uh, I did fuck around for a little bit. Um, just like running around and whatnot, not doing what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, you know, caught a few Mon. Uh, found out that you can like, your Pokemon can follow you around a little bit. And then on top of that, they can also like auto fight and stuff like that, which is pretty neat. And there's a crafting system in this Pokemon game. Like, what? That's kind of weird. Even if the crafting system is kind of basic, uh, you craft TMs. So, spoiler, I guess. But <laughs> you collect stuff from all the different Pokemon you battle, and those things let you make TMs, which is neat. I'm glad that's in the game. The auto battles are awesome. Yeah, I mean, I like them. I, I don't have a strong opinion on them just yet, but I do definitely like them. They're pretty cool. It's a... Uh, with the Pokemon just being, like, visible on the map now. I really need to get a weight to add to my mic. Holy shit, dude. Why are you like this microphone? Okay. Anyways, uh, with all the Pokemon just being, like, visible on the map now, it is really cool that we can just, um... <laughs> love that we just climb over him. It's cool that we can just, like, auto-battle stuff on the world map like that. That's cool. We just, we just stole a drink. I don't remember what we were doing here. <laughs> Does anybody else remember what we were doing here? Are we just here? Are, are we here to find someone? I'm assuming finding someone. This club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me? Can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. If you give me a drink, I'll give you the silly lever. I don't need it and don't want to be caught with it. Uh, this drink? Oh, thanks, my friend. Here you go, as promised. Hey, let's go. Solving puzzles and we don't even know how. <laughs> oh. You like my mask? I made it myself. Pretty cool, honestly. I do kind of like it. It jams the Sentinel scans and it looks cool. Why isn't everyone wearing those then, dude? Down with the Sentinels, all that BS. Is this guy broken? I think this dude might be broken, dude. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with him. I paid extra to get the nice dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Oh, the bouncer does it? Really? That's a cool fucking mask or office rocker. Yeah. I I don't know if the robots can get drunk, but there's this dude's. He's not okay. <laughs> I think he's had enough, my guy. Oh no, kitty! Almost fell. Can we just like fuck with all these taps here? No. Lame. I just want to start like pouring this shit all over the ground. Hold on, hold on. Obligatory knocking stuff off. Your mother finally answered you. I'm assuming that means she's gonna she's gonna help you get the kitty. Come on, get, fall off, you stupid glass. No! Off the counter! There we go. That's all I wanted. Are we good now? There's still the bottle. Hold on. One more. One more. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Just trying to bottle off the counter. There we go. We're good. Hey, bartender. How you doing? <laughs> hey, customer. The access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. It's been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Not fucking blazer, dude. The blazer we know. Let's go. Just gotta go meet blazer. Hey, where'd that other guy go? Bruh. This guy. He's got the fucking moves. I didn't notice when we walked past him. <laughs> Let it go. Aw, <laughs> oh, shit. Is he done already? Bro. No, that was... He's definitely the best dancer in this place. Let's go. Give it to the left, give it to the right. Beep, boop, sweep, soup. It's called the Zegamud dance. You're cool. Hey, Blazer, stop living up to your name and help us. We fuck with the with the records. Let's 
Got a triangle on it. Hold on. Why can't I mess with it? Do I have to meet you first? Hey everybody, DJ Matt C here. Let's get this party started. First song has been requested by our very questionable friend, Blazer. Why can't I fuck with it? Let me fuck with it. It's got a triangle on it. Let me triangle it. I'm I'm very sad right now. Bruh, is the game broke? It's not highlighted, dude. Can't I know, but why? <laughs> How do we highlight it? I want to mess with it. Hold on. What's this? Oh, use the lever. Okay. Oh, maybe will that let us do it? Is that activated somehow? Oh, he walked away. Come on. Damn. I'm very upset about this. I hope we can come back and mess with that later. Excuse me, sorry. Watch for falling glasses, my guys. There's a cat in the house. What do each of these buttons? Oh, mug. Did that actually do something? Oh, it's moving these things. Okay. So what's the... Okay, so that one moved these two downs and that one up. Where are we, where are we actually trying to get to right now? Okay, so I probably need... I'm assuming we just need all of them down. And this one. I mean, that's not all of them, but that's a lot of them. Is that enough? No, we literally need all of them. Okay. Son of a bitch! Uh, go back to the first one again. And then this one to get, and then this one, and then this one. Shit. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. This one again. And then what this does, those three. Oh, God. Okay. So that's those three. So if we did this one, it's what, all the ones on the right? Or no, it's the first two in that one. What's this one do again? Okay. So that's those three. And this one's the back two. So this one is the only one that does that one. So this one's gonna have to be down to get that one. This one does all three of those. And this one does these two. Is that? I think that's good, right? Oh, okay, yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> you got stuck on this part, so I'm on my own here. I thought we had to get them all down, but I think it's fine that that one isn't down right there. So we Gucci. We got this. Just hop on across, dude. Like, nothing even happened. Let's go. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people can't complain so much about them. I mean, just because you have a good relationship with them doesn't mean that they're not assholes to everyone else, dude. Uh, up. VIP lounge? Why is Clementine tied up? Was Blazer an inside man the whole time? Two birds with one stone? You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. That dick.
business is money, and I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They are y'all yours. I can't fucking read tonight, dude. Help, am I having a stroke? Somebody cooking toast, I'm joking. Oh, wait, what just, did we just get shot? <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh no! Hitty in a cage! I need a drink. Why is Kitty in a cage? Did we just die? Oh, thank fuck. Wait a second. Are you telling me you don't know? <laughs> when you said you got stuck on that part, did you mean like literally you got stuck on that part? Okay. You haven't gotten this far. Oh shit, dude. This is all new to all of us then. Maybe they poop outside of the litter box also? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm confused, Noodle. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> oh, because Katie. We put Katie in a cage at night because she has a tendency of pooping all over the house. <laughs> I got you now. Not that kind of cage, though. It's a, it's a large cage with space to move around and a litter box and food and water. Not just, you know, a rickety old cage hanging over a, a sea of... Is that sewage? Acid? I don't really know what that is. Gross. That's what it is. Jail. You really hope it's just water? I wouldn't... Bet no money on it. Okay, I'm assuming we're going to need to jump on this to swing this cage over a little bit. And then maybe the same on the other side. Can we jump on it from here? No. There we go. And then from here to there, and then to there, and look at us go, dude. Puzzling masters. Ain't no jail keeping us locked up. Oh. Bruh. They are straight up cooking this dude. Bruh. <laughs> okay. This part of town fucking sucks. Got it. Like, the first town we went to, dude, everything was so so chill and so happy. And, I mean, like, sure, it was, it was a little decrepit and dark and, you know, everything was dead. Just robots. But everyone was chill and, and helping each other and whatnot. This place is rough, my guy. Shit, what are we what are we even doing in here though? Really hope that's not what I think it is. It is. I think she was just say to hear me not beg for one anymore. <laughs> okay, hold on. Can we maybe hop up on the pipe here? Yeah. Straight up torturing this guy, man. Can we like, is there a way to let him free? Help, help him out? Seriously, can we help? I know, same dude. I don't think there is though. Like I don't see any way in that room. Maybe, maybe when we do our grand escape, we can like cut the power to the whole place. I don't, fuck bro, I don't know. Okay, well, we can't get through there without being spotted, so... I'm thinking we gotta go this way. You're... you're dead. Okay. 
So are you. Wow! <laughs> this game suddenly got much more depressing, dude. What the hell? Um, is there anything on this side? Nope. Another dead dude. Is there seriously no way for us to, like, go and help that guy? Man, I, I guess not. That's fucking rough, dude. I mean, let's go back up. Is there anything we can do up here? doesn't look like it well okay that right there honestly that convinces me more than anything that these robots are human so what purpose do robots have to, to torture each other and shit you know I mean, not that humans have a good reason to do it, but they've been known to do it. Hi, guy. Is there any way I can help? Maybe, maybe get that other dude free while we're here? Oh shit, we lost B12 too. That's why we can't understand the dude. Ah, shit, okay. I was wondering why he wasn't just, like, talking to us. Did they ever explain why we can understand B12, though? Did they did they say that at some point and I just missed it? I don't know if there's going to be, like, more robot bros in here that we need to watch out for. I think we gooch. He translates shit for us. I know that, but like, why does, why can we understand what he's saying? You know, why can he speak cat? <laughs> I guess is what I'm asking. Like, that's the part that doesn't make any sense to me. No idea. Same. I guess because it's a video game and he can, dude. That's, that's all we need to know. Zero five four eight six nine eight seven. Is that important for something? Zero five four eight six nine eight seven. I'm going to forget that. I. It's probably not important anyways. Zero five nine eight six eight four seven. That might be wrong. I'm already forgetting it. It's fine. My memory doesn't last that long. <laughs> We're staging a coup, my guy. Let's go. Have anything interesting in your room? Nope. Lead the way, sir. Where are we going? I don't know what the hell's going on. That is an unreal glow coming from that light. Are you trying to show us something important? Can I not like hop down there? No? Wait, seriously? <laughs> they got B12 and fucking maximum security over there? Yeah. 
I wish I had any idea what he was saying. Okay, weren't there like lasers and shit down there though? How are we gonna get through that? <laughs> You're right, we should help him. Good translation, man. I like it. <laughs> Seems legit. Go this way. Gotta be like a deactivation button or something for all the drones, right? Okay, I'm assuming those lasers are death. Let's not touch death lasers. Can we jump? Oh, we can go up, across. Hey, look at us go, dude. Cats are fucking amazing. This laser moving? It is. How far does it go? Okay, we can hop up there. Meowster <laughs> of stealth. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, hop up. Cross. Down. Okay, and then behind the counter. Get in the box. We like move the box around? No. Says the guy laughing. I can't help but laugh at terrible shit. That's who I am. <laughs> Will he see us like up here? Probably. It's probably safer to just go over here. And down. Too easy, dude. You thought these lasers are gonna do shit to us? <laughs> oh god. We agree it's a good joke. It's a terrible joke, okay? Just because it makes me laugh doesn't mean it's a good joke. Hey! B12, you're free! Run, my guy. He's out of power, isn't he? God damn it. B12, why you gotta be dead and shit? Oh no. They on church mode. Or he's playing dead. I guess that's possible, yeah. I'm assuming he's dead. Okay, they're not actually in search. Like, moving around. Okay, that one might be moving around. Now, do we take him back to where... Ah! 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 Fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah, we were so close! Why did he turn around as soon as we were over there? Bad timing. Bad timing. It's fine. Oh no, we gotta do it all again? It's fine. We know what we're doing now. It won't take long. And there doesn't seem to be any secrets or anything to grab around here, as far as I can tell, at least. So there's no point in dilly-dallying. We can just go. Speed run? Speed run sounds like me dying repeatedly. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. He didn't even... He didn't even start searching for us. It turned yellow and then just... Nothing. Oh shit, I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to hit the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk! <laughs> Where was the lever again? <laughs> I was in this room. 
right? Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can hide under here. That's perfect. Okay. Wait for this guy to move. Oh, God. Get down. Ooh, that was close. We good? I think we're good. Easy, dude. Let's go. Can you use, like, your batteries to recharge on my guy? Oh, wait. He's good. He's good. He's live. Oh. Hello, Iffy. Gotta catch his bearings real quick. I felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again, all alone. But you came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. You're welcome, my guy. I'm so glad that we are all together again, but we're not safe yet. Oh, that's Clementine. I didn't even realize that was Clementine. <laughs> I need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? Probably, but wait. I don't want to, like, the thing with... Oh, no. Okay. Damn. I was hoping we can... I was hoping we could uh, go back to the to the dude in the beginning. But no go. Wait, you didn't know. I didn't realize it was. Look, I'm terrible, like, remembering people that are people. <laughs> now you start throwing robots at me? Nah. I ain't gonna remember anything. Oh, wait. Did we do good? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know we were helping. I was just... <laughs> I was just being a cat, dude. Alright, so I'm assuming I need to get up there now. Oh, are you gonna help me? Let's go, dude. And then lever. No money. Heart something. I wish I knew how to read this language, dude. There's probably cool shit hidden around here. Written on the walls and whatnot. The sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. Yes, let's go. Let's lock them into their own cells, dude. I like that idea. So wait, these guys? Oh, hi. Do you, do you want to say hello? Do you see that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. Jesus, fuck, dude. <laughs> Oh no. Ah! Jesus Christ. Ah! Come in here. Come in here. Oh God. Get fucked. <laughs> okay, one down. This recovery center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I am an exemplary citizen now. No! No, you're not, dude. You lost everything that made you look at you. Oh, my God. Sir, would you like freedom? My new favorite thing to say to people who are people. <laughs> uh. Okay, we got some some barrels. A memory. This, this doesn't look like a pleasant memory. <laughs> this poor fellow. 
Seems that the Sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They have completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. Huh? Oh shit, that's like the last memory? Bro, we missed so much. Holy hell. After I play this game, I'm gonna have to like hop on YouTube and look up all the memories or a lore explainer video or something. I want to know more about this world for sure. Hey, don't get me in trouble. I only have 758 years left and then I'm free again. Capone. All right, Al. Okay, you there. Fuck! So close! <laughs> okay, so maybe... Mm -hmm. Okay, we got this. Alright, let's go ahead and meet this guy again. Mr. Capone, sir. We can try and bust you out of here. Let's go ahead and... Maybe... What's the best move here? Did you get locked in? Okay, that's one. Ooh, buddy. Are they both in there? Yes, let's go, dude. I did not think that was gonna work, not gonna lie. I thought for sure that door was gonna end up closing like too soon or something. Oh, there's another guy. Hi there, guy. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Wah, what you did, ha, ha, that was funny. Oh, this guy's fucked. Well done locking up that sentinel. We got to take the power back. Let's go, dude. What about you, my guy? What do you think? You don't want to talk, huh? Fine. That's fair. Nothing new to say. Okay. Uh... Okay, he shut the door, so we gotta be able to do something in here. Stay alert, we aren't in the clear yet. Right, right, right. Ooh, secret passage in the vents. Metal Gear Solid has trained me for this. That's a fuck ton of cameras, my guy. Thankfully, they seem to be turned off. The store's the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from that control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room though. Let's look around. I mean, I'm a cat, dude. They don't usually secure things against cat-sized creatures. Couldn't you just lift me up again like you did last time? Oh, tree, sorry, hold on. Cat gotta do what cats do. All right, that's better. <laughs> no, for real though, Clementine, couldn't you just like come over here and then let me on your head? Maybe not. Guess that would be too easy. Is that the right thing? We're in luck, they left the keys in the door. 
hop on the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. I could just use your head, though, dude. Like, I'm all for using the truck and all, but there was an easier method, for sure. Especially when they don't even know what a cat is. Yeah, for real. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought... Oh, that was, that was a little bugged. Oh, I guess it won't fit through there. That's fine. I get it. Uh, okay, nothing over here. <laughs> that was a bit glitchy. Eh? Yeah, just a wee bit. I don't think the game knew if I wanted to jump down or jump up. <laughs> it's fine. We got there in the end, though. That's all that matters. Okay, obvious lever is obvious, but, like... I want to knock this pot off here. I guess not. No? Fine. Game doesn't want me to have any fun. Uh, I feel like the alarm is bad. Oh, hi. Hi there. Uh, run. <laughs> run. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, stop shooting me. I'm already dead. Holy shit, dude. I'm on the ground. <laughs> like, just... My God. Okay, they gotta recharge after three shots, right? Oh, God. Let me on the truck. Let me... Let me on the truck. Oh, God. No. Hold on. Hold on. I need the truck. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was scurry. <laughs> Clem, wait, you traitor. Clem went slow for us. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, wait, this is like proper cutscene all of a sudden? Hold on. There's no way we'll all make it with the sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. Ah, uh, Clem's giving themselves up, dude. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Go now. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. Bruh, no, dude, Clem. Just try at least. Oh, dude, sorry, I gotta like adjust myself in my chair. Bro, but what's the point, dude, if you don't get out? Like, sure, I can be back with my little kitty friends or whatever, but you need to be free, dude. Freedom for the robots, all the robots. So we're back at the, the beginning of this area now. Oh, this person's gone. Where'd they go? Their tape's gone, too. Son of a bitch. Do we just... Do we just hop on the train? No? Hold on. <laughs> Where are we actually going? It's been a while since we've been here. I don't remember what we're doing. Kigo Burr. Where... Where Kigo? Choo choo. Do we go down? Is this where we came from? Here, use item. Battery. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Okay, now we go on Choo Choo. Let's go, dude. Okay. Hop on train. Train go burr. We go free. 
use item. Why? Why? Ah! <laughs> My brain. Why are the 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 Sentinel robot people, the police robot, why are they so against people going outside? Like, are they are they hiding something? Is it just because they're worried about those uh, Zergs getting free? How do we turn on our flashlight? There we go. Oh, wait, no. Excuse me. That's inventory. Well, I found the flashlight button. <laughs> Not that we really need it now. Oh. Wow. Hi. Uh, this place looks very clean, sir. Hello. Helper 477. Hello, how may I help you? Uh... You're doing an excellent job, and I can't help but notice that he doesn't have a human name. He's just Helper 477? So... Is he, like, an earlier robot? Are there still people here? I need explanations, please. My God, this place is immaculate, dude. Hello. Helper 062, greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. Uh, yes, greetings to you, sir. Helper 220 or 211, I am currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. Okay, city sealed. Oh, we're at the top, aren't we? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I really want to go up there and look out, but I got to meet the people. Reading and having in Walled City 99, this door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. So the humans locked everything down before they died? Question mark? Okay, I can't interact with that right now. Oh, inspect. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. <laughs> Excuse me. They're definitely not like the others. This is like before they evolved. I know, dude. Yeah, these are definitely like earlier units or something or, or untouched units. City has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Thanks, my guy. Um, we are, like, right at the top, though, aren't we? Look at that. Look at the city down below. Oh, that's so cool looking. I seriously hope they end up making more games in this series. Like, even if you don't play as a cat, it would just be cool to, to explore the city and whatnot in the before time. To, like, figure out what happened, what led to all of this, what happens afterwards. My current task is clean the window. <laughs> okay. That's all that guy's been doing for God knows how long. Cleaning that window. Is your current task clean this floor? Hello, how may I help you? Well. You could tell me where I could find a human. <laughs> if you have any ideas on that, that would be a huge help, actually. Okay. Well, the only place with anything we can possibly do is over here. Can we interact with this now? 
No. Ah! What are we doing? Inspect. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just had to inspect again. Makes sense. Good job, B12. Oh, shit. Oh, it's like timed. Okay. Inspect. And then... But I can't do anything. Uh... Uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh. We probably need to... Okay. We probably need to get this over here so that we can reach. There we go. Okay. Now, interact. Jump up. And fuck up the wires. Oh, no. No, no, no. There we go. <laughs> Kitty power activate. Let's go. Game glitched again. Good job, game. Uh, this place also looks too clean to have been empty this entire time. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. Dude, no. This place is... There's no dust or anything. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. Eh, that sounds about right. <laughs> Watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside. Together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. So that was the final core memory. The most fucked part, honestly, is that this all sounds, like, realistic, you know? Like... That this is something that could happen in the real world. Okay, so where's the set everyone free button? I'm assuming that monitor over there that's blinking. <laughs> is this all written in regular, like, human language? Yeah, it's just really small. Can't really read it. What about the papers? Man, I wish the texture was just a little bit higher resolution. <laughs> I want to know what it says. It's probably nothing important. But I can't help but be curious. Okay. Let's uh let's hit the button, dude. Inspect. This is it, the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Okay. How do I turn them on? <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, the keyboards. I didn't even see the keyboards. Perfect, dude. Okay, hop 
down. Couple more. It worked. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. The one problem I foresee, though, is aren't those, like, opening up the city would also, like, the Zerg out, though, right? Like, couldn't that potentially fuck up the world? Because the Zerg just eat everything. Metal, uh, uh, biological, like, everything. <laughs> That's the workstation to open the city, but there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Let's go, dude. Kitty to the rescue. <laughs> Wait, what do we... What do we need to destroy? Push? And scratch. They're clear at the bottom, so if we did it fast enough, maybe everything would be okay. Maybe. Like, just let all the robots out and then close the city back up? That sort of thing? The system is taking more than I expected. Oh, God. B12 is going to die, too. While we try and do this. Oh, shit. Wait, are the Sentinels coming in? Oh, no. We've got to keep going. Uh, okay, what do we destroy next? Hi, camera. Uh, right there. I see it. And kitty scratch. And hack. Dude, B12 is definitely going to die doing this. I can recharge once we open up that workstation. I don't know if that's true, B12. I think you're going to end up offing yourself too here. I think I think this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be all right. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. B12, my guy. That's it. We're safe. I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software, but I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it would bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity, to hold on to the past, but I see a future in the companions, and you. Here, let me take that off of you. Dude! You were my friend and the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Fuck, bro. Is that really the future for the world, though? Like, the last of humanity, dead with B12. All the robots stuck in the city. Ah, dude. That's fucking sad, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, 
Oh, the sunlight. The sunlight kills the Zerg. That's right. I forgot about that too. Let's go, dude. And it fried the Sentinels? What? <laughs> I don't know if the sunlight did that or if, like, us deactivating the security system did that. But, like, let's go, dude. Maybe there is a future for the robots, at least. Humanity might be fucked, but the cats and the robots, dude. I say we just finish the game here, man. This is the right ending for it. <laughs> I know we started with our group, and we need to go back with our group, but bruh, us and B12, that's all we need. Uh, watch out below. Holy shit. A little bit of debris there. I don't even... I don't even know what to say. Like... I'm happy we got to save the robots and all, but B12, man. Dude, that is really opening. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank God those motors work after all this time, eh? He's with his family now, question mark? I, I, I guess. <laughs> Guess that's it. Everything is open. So so now what? We go and find our our kitty friends. Guess now that the lockdown protocol is done, we can probably just just walk out, huh? They won't even talk to us. Up we go. Oh, uh, without B12, we still can't understand them. Dude, the butterfly. I love butterflies. The doves. Life lives on, dude. Just not humans. Pretty sure humans fucked it up in the first place, so yeah, I mean, I'm 100% there with you. This all was humans' fault in some way. Oh, there was a little, a little, a little electrical zit there at the end. Does that mean something, <laughs> or was that just, you know? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm hoping there's some sort of sequel or something at some point.
So I just, I do definitely want to know more about the world. Like, what happens now with all of the robots, the Zergs? What happened before with the, uh, with the plague? Like, did the, the humans up top, did they actually have a reason for shutting everything down? Because at some point, they had to realize that, like, they couldn't keep humanity going, right, without everyone else. Like, that small group of engineers had to be like, if we don't, you know, go down with everyone else or whatever, we're fucked too. Like, there's gotta be... Uh, I don't know, dude. I want to know more. <laughs> Maybe somehow B12 is still in there. I mean, he uploaded his consciousness, right? Maybe he did it again somehow. True, true, true. Yeah, that's fair. He could have. Maybe he'll get a real body and, uh, or not a real body, but you know, that would be creepy. That's a horror game sequel. No, a uh, robot body. And then he can find the kitty. I mean, there were plenty of dead robots laying around. Wondering if there's going to be any scene after the uh, after the credits. And you best believe after I get off tonight, I'm looking up on YouTube to see if there's like a uh, alternate ending or anything like that. Maybe one for like if you find all the extra memories that we didn't find. I have no idea if there's a completionist bonus or anything, but I'm curious. A sequel for sure. Feel it. I feel it. Cats. Aww. Billy, June, Poopy, Calcifer, Bat, Flash. I love all the. <laughs> love all the random ass names, man. PlayStation Studios. Don't like the rips by some of those names? Yeah. I've seen that sort of thing in, in credits before for some games where they'll list like family members uh, and pets and things like that. And sometimes they don't all make it. Some of these games take, you know, years and years to complete. So it's sad, but Annapurna Interactive. Noodle with another five bits. Thank you so much, love. Joe, Jojo, <laughs> Noriaki. Simon Wu. Speed Tree. Okay, do we have anything? Anything after the credits? Do we do we get a hidden little scene? A little something? Just a taste? Are we reunited with our friends at least? Our our cat family? Nope, just back to the beginning. Bruh. <laughs> ah game is there like a new game plus oh you can select chapters okay that's cool so if you want to like go through and actually find everything at least there's a way to do that okay before we hop off i'm going to do a quick google search stray multiple endings uh, does have moments where you can explore the world freely. The game's story is not based on choice. The ending astray is a singular experience. Okay. How the game sets up a potential sequel? On finally making your way out of the city, having climbed your way through the slums and midtown, you finally reach the outside world once again. As set up at the beginning of the game, the motivating force behind the cat's entire journey is to return to his family. Stray ends with our furry protagonist returning to the overgrown world and giving one look back to the city he traversed. Leaving behind the friends he made and those he lost, the cat moves forward into the unknown. Stray does not reunite the cat with his family in the last moments of the game, leading our hero on yet another journey. While Stray's story feels so focused and complete in how it tells the story of the city and its inhabitants through the eyes of a cat, the possibility for a sequel is left open. Ah! Uh... <laughs> I hope they do, man. And I hope the sequel doesn't just tell the story of him getting back with his family, you know? I want to I want the story of of the the robots, man. Do they make it out? Do they set up a new 
civilization above ground? Are the Zergs wiped out once and for all? The plague? Did that dude that was getting fucking tortured get freedom? Like, bro, there's so much. That was a good game. That was a really, really good game. Especially considering I paid nothing extra for it, you know? But honestly, like, we played it for, what, seven hours according to the timer there? Like, totally worth it. 100%. I would have I would have purchased the game. I might purchase the game physically just to have the game. That was really good. I want more games like this. Not every game needs to be 60 hours long, man. <laughs> Give me a game with fun gameplay, a compelling story, um, a couple beautiful moments. Keep it under eight hours. That's perfect. Mwah. <laughs> the only thing would have been like some some replayability stuff, which I guess there is in the chapters and things like that, or the the memories, like collecting all of that. There's a there's a reason to go back still. But like, uh, I do think it would have been cool if there was even if it, like how Kingdom Hearts does it. If you're familiar with those games, where if you unlock everything or collect everything, you get like a a little hidden cutscene at the end um even if it's not necessarily part of the canon just something like that would have been really cool but regardless good job ggs to the dev team dude um yeah that was stray my guy i guess that's all we have man holy fuck i'm gonna watch some lore stuff on stray now on youtube uh <laughs> i suggest y'all do the same if you're interested Oh, Noodle sent me another tent. I didn't even see that message. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Are you wanting a new tent, love? Is that what you're trying to tell me? But anyways, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit for this, uh, I guess, relatively short stream here. Uh, today's Tuesday. Wednesday, I'll be at my real job, so won't be streaming anything tomorrow. Thursday, Thanksgiving, I'll be out of town with family and stuff. So Friday, we'll be back with some rim world i think i'm pretty sure we're doing rim world on friday so fun 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 boo <laughs> boo to real job tomorrow i feel that dude 100 percent feel that i wish i didn't have to go in tomorrow but i uh don't have much of a choice we are nice yes uh nate by the way for anyone who doesn't know uh nate donated the uh expansion pack to me uh, he, he bought it for me, sent it to me. So uh, thank you to Nate. So we'll be playing with the expansion, a mostly vanilla, not 100%, but a, a lot closer to vanilla RimWorld experience. And we are trying to actually get to the end game is kind of the goal. Um, maybe not like have literally everything unlocked, but I, I do want to explore because they added like some gene editing, some ma mad scientist stuff and whatnot, which is really cool. Uh, so I want to be able to mess around with that. And also you can have children now. Um, so I want to see what that's all about. And for that reason, it's going to be a little bit different than a, a standard RimWorld run again. Wherein I think I'm going to disable enemy raids. So it'll be a little bit more of a chill laid back sort of thing. But um, we can still be attacked. Like depending on quests and, and things like that. There just won't be the eight random enemy raids. And then, like, weather events and things will be a little bit more common because of that. So we can revive the Rulites, maybe, maybe. What I'm thinking for this one, I want to have, because the, the whole theme of, like, the expansion is, you know, genetics. Um, so I, I'm thinking of having, like, a, a the five-person start, the tribal start. You start with less um, research unlocked from the get-go, but you start with five people instead of three. And I was thinking of having, like, a... Um, an elvish-like character, a dwarvish-like character, uh, a human-like character, but maybe with some, you know, some experimentation that was done on them. I still need to think of, like, the other two. I was thinking maybe a, a dragon-like person and then a uh, cat person is kind of what I was thinking for the five. And then uh, for the ideology, for the, for the religion stuff, I am going to have that enabled. But I was thinking of doing the fluid start. Um, so instead of like having our, our religion set in stone from the beginning, it will evolve over time depending on, on what we do and throughout the game. Ruby Dragon, please. I, uh, I haven't decided how we're going to pick who's who 
Um, but I, I'm okay with that. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Cause we still have to figure out exactly how we're going to manage everyone. <laughs> Cause you can like make gene modifications to your people before you start the game, but there are consequences to, to, to genes too, right? Certain genes. So we'll see. We'll get everyone set up and then maybe we'll have like a first come first serve pick or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out probably on Friday, but, uh, it's, it's still going to be a lot of fun. It's probably going to be the longest RimWorld run I've ever done, and maybe the longest I ever do, because <laughs> the, the hardest part of the game is generally the enemy raids. So without that, we'll see. Uh, I was also thinking of maybe doing some stuff with, like, sending people out into the world and things, since we'll have more people. We'll see. We'll see. Rune Noodle here. We are first come, first serve. <laughs> okay, then. Well, anyways, guys, again... Thank you all so much for being here. We'll talk more about that on Friday. I'm probably going to do a couple more little tests if I have time in RimWorld. In the meantime, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on Discord if I have any other news on that front. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone. Yes, happy Thanksgiving because I won't be streaming until afterwards, I don't think. Uh, so happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you have some good food and that the time with your families isn't terrible <laughs> and you get to see some good friends um until then though bye bye y'all and as always be kind to each other so we've got a shop coming up next that's the actual boss we want to get to we could fight everything. The only thing that does for us, though, is level up our Psy meter, really, or let us grow seeds. We probably will, just because why not? Thank <laughs> you.